Double Trouble up and at him? Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another shaving video and today I'm excited to try out a new shaving soap and that is Stubble Troubles Up and Atom. Uh, now Stubble Trouble is kind of a newer brand uh, for me and kind of newer on the scene as I start getting all my stuff going and um, where I had seen them very briefly online uh, from a video done by Scott Oster Miller, the clean shaver. Uh, however, where I really started, uh, where I really noticed Stubble Trouble was at the Big Shave West this year out in Pasadena, California. Uh, they had a booth there and, uh, you know, I started looking at all their soaps and uh, was really, really impressed with what I saw. So uh, Stubble Trouble is an artisan soap maker from Texas, from the Houston area, and it's owned by a gentleman named Adam Lindbergh. And uh, he was a really, really cool guy uh, to get to talk to. And... Um, like I said before, I just really fell in love with the soap. Uh, these soaps are, just to talk about the actual soap, it is a 5.9 ounce uh, plastic tub, and they are retailing for $12.50. So a terrific deal there. And it is a vegan soap. So some of you guys are really into uh, some of those vegan products. This one definitely works for you. And uh, up and Atom is a coffee type scent. Now, um, you know, obviously it's not called coffee, and I, I think that he did that on purpose. So it's not just a pure coffee, but I'll talk more about the scent as we go on. So, um, as far as the soap, as you can see already, one of the reasons I've been happy to do this video is that uh, it, my hands are just already absolutely covered in lather from a very, very short load. And so, um, I've been getting lots of uh, great results with this stuff. All right, so um, looking at the ingredient list, um, I don't have it uh, in front of me. It's all, all around the label. And so I'll go ahead and try to put a link up right here. Okay, and so uh, very good ingredient list. Now, uh, what I'm looking for as an ingredient list um, I'm looking for things that are going to give me that uh, moisturized, slick feeling um, that's going to contribute to a nice post-shave. A lot of soaps, you know, they shave really well, they lather up good, all that type of stuff. Um, but I really want a soap that's going to feel great uh, after the shave. And so usually... Um, what I'm looking for in ingredients is, is the oils and the butters that are on top of just the normal soap ingredients. And uh, on this soap, it does have shea butter, which for me is a huge winner. Uh, olive oil, that's kind of a different one. You don't see olive oil too often in uh, shave soaps. Uh, it has sweet almond oil, uh, coconut oil, and then there is also glycerin in there. And uh, those are the ingredients that stood out to me that I really like. As you can see, no time flat. This lather is beautiful, but I'll just continue working it up and then move on with the shave. Okay, all lathered up and ready to go. As you can see, it's a shiny, creamy, thick lather. Um, don't know if I already mentioned it, but it is a very, a very firm soap, uh, which I really like. Um, I like the, the firmer soaps. And uh, when I had gotten it, Adam had put a note in there and said, don't forget to bloom it. And uh, you know, I've done it bloomed and not bloomed. Doesn't change the performance for me. Um, works great either way. And uh, this version of Up and Atom, if you see it, a little, it says, uh, with a whisper of cool. Now, uh, like I said, I saw this at the Big Shave West, and um, I had told myself and my wife that I was not going to uh, buy any soaps. And so, uh, after looking at Adam's booth at Stubble Trouble, I... Uh, fell in love with some of their soaps, uh, but I really had to stick to my guns of not making any purchases there, and I did. I didn't. I didn't buy anything, um, and so I started talking to uh, to Adam when I got home, 
and uh, this soap, Up and Atom, was the one I was really, really into. And uh, he asked me if I was interested in the uh, the traditional or uh, with a whisper of cool, which means just very slightly mentally. Whoops, dropped the lid there. And um, I ended up going with uh, with his recommendation, which was with the whisper of cool. And uh, it is definitely not a cold soap, but it just has that ever so slight cooling effect and it is very 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 nice uh, one thing about it is that uh, the menthol does not overpower the actual scent of the soap um, the scent is left intact with no menthol you know type scent to it now for the scent to me it is a coffee type scent but it is not straight coffee. Um, from what, what I get out of it, and it's a, a pretty strong scent too, I would say it's uh, definitely on the stronger end, even right out of the tub. Um, I get like a, a definitely a coffee, coffee's the main, um, but then there's a, a really nice sweetness to it. And uh, to me, it's kind of like a, a chocolatey type sweetness. Uh, however, on Stubble Trouble's website, they describe it. Um, they say that there's a vanilla bean, and I don't know if maybe that's where I'm getting the sweetness of it. Um, when I think of scents that it kind of reminds me of, now like in the same family, not meaning it smells like them, but uh, just kind of in the same family, I think of like uh, the uh, Phoenix or How to Grow a Mustache, the old chocolate bourbon. It's kind of got like that chocolatey sweetness or like the Katie's Bubble S'mores. Um, it's got like that sweetness to it with coffee over it. And uh, I really, 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 really love this scent. I just absolutely could not get enough of it. And that's why I had to get it as, as soon as I got home. So I'm going to finish up this first pass and move on. Okay, first pass down with Stubble Troubles Up and Atom Shaving Soap and uh, wonderful, wonderful results, which is what I've gotten with this soap every single time I've used it. There's definitely a slickness over the skin. That's huge. That's what I'm looking for. You saw the lather. You saw how easy I was shaving and just talking with it. And so I can go back to my brush and uh, just plenty there. No problems at all. Um, as far as the menthol, it's just a very, very, very slight, slight cooling to it. Um, you know, still, if in some other videos, uh, you've heard me say that, you know, if you are brand new to this, uh, I really don't recommend your first shaving soap being a soap with any sort of menthol. And uh, even though this is very light, um, if you wanted this soap, as your first shaving soap, I would say just go without the menthol, just just to be safe. And the reason I say that is because um, you know it does take away a little bit of the feeling on your on your face, even just the slightest bit. And uh, that might make somebody who's new to this, you know, apply a little bit too much pressure, which is just gonna just gonna kill your shaves. Um, every time I've used the soap, it's just been absolutely. Stellar results. I lather tested it um, as soon as I got it and then just started shaving with it and just tons and tons of lather. Mm. Um, one cool thing was interesting as I got to talk with uh, Adam at the Big Shave West. You know, I kind of like to, to hear the, the stories uh, from these guys of you know, whatever made you decide to uh, make shaving soap. And uh, I really liked Adam's story because it was, it was kind of similar uh, to mine. Uh, he said that the first soap he ever got uh, was an old tin 
of the Synergy Frostbite. So it uh, looked like this, but this is uh, a different soap. And uh, he said he tried it and just absolutely fell in love with it and then just kind of got curious about, um, about shaving soap and stuff like that. And then that led him to uh, starting to experiment and ultimately led to this awesome soap that I'm using today. And, uh, you know, my story is, is similar, you know, in with the synergy of, I've never made soap, but, um, it wasn't until I got that puck, that original puck of like the synergy Cavendish that was just absolutely blew my mind. And so I think it's cool that, uh, his inspiration kind of came from a, um, a soap that's really, really important to me. And, um, uh, I just think that he's done a phenomenal job of creating the soap. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. All right, I'm going to finish up this second pass. Second pass down, still excellent results. There's just that layer of slickness and the nice uh, little hint of cooling from uh, the menthol. Plenty of lather still in the brush for a third pass, so I will go ahead and do it. Um, as far as uh, other things from Subble Trouble, well, well, first of all, on the scent, um, this is definitely, even though it's it's sweet and, and coffee, um, I can still see this being an everyday scent for people. Uh, you know, even some of my favorite soaps of all time, uh, I don't consider them everyday scents just because the scent on it is so unique that I just might not feel it all the time. Um, if you were like a one soap type person, I think you would be, I think you'd still be happy with this scent um, because it is that nice, but it's not like over the top. Um, and then the reason I thought about that is because when I was looking at all their different uh, scents, I don't know exactly how many scents they have. Um, it, it was less than 10. And there were some of them that I really liked and some of them that, you know, that I didn't really think were for me. And uh, one thing that uh, Adam had told me is that, you know, he understood that not every scent is going to be uh, for every person. However, throughout his lineup of soaps, because of the variety of the scents, uh, there's going to be something that almost anyone could, could find that they would like in his soap lineup. And uh, as I was looking through it, there was definitely, that was true. Um, he has like the pirate cowboy, which, uh, you know, is a little bit more like masculine, manly. Uh, and then they had uh, the, some of the citrus guys, you know, rhymes with orange. Uh, was one of them and he's got the summer passion that are kind of like that and then there was more like the earthy yard work scent and uh so i really think there is something in there that uh anyone uh, might like so if maybe coffee doesn't appeal to you but because of the uh, performance that you're hearing about you're interested um there's probably a soap there for you if not this one because this one's really 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 good all right i'm going to continue this third pass Three passes down and the shave is absolutely wonderful. Uh, exceptionally close. My skin doesn't feel dried out, still feels really moisturized. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing I really look for in these shaving soaps is my post-shave feeling. And, um, you know, my big three, my big ones are like, uh, are Barrister and Man, uh, Phoenix Crown King, uh, Soap Commander. That's those are kind of, and even Sterling gets gets in there. Um, those are kind of my bar for post shave and Mitchell's Wolf Fat. 
And um, this is just kind of right in that range. I, you know, I can't say that it exceeds, like, but I can't say it's far, it's far below. Um, my skin feels absolutely wonderful. Um, you saw me do three passes, still plenty of lather in my brush. Um, and it's just really nice, like shiny uh, lather. So really, 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 really happy with that. Um, what I'm gonna be pairing this with is uh, some Synergy Cavendish. And so I wanna finish off by going over the, the points of the soap. So um, firm soap in a plastic tin, 5.9 ounces, uh, easy to lather, easy to load, 12.50. I mean, that's probably one of the best deals there is in uh, for artisan shaving products. Um, I give it my absolute highest recommendation. Uh, if you're interested in checking out some of their stuff, um, you can check out stubbletroubleshaveco.com and uh, stubble trouble is spelled T-R-U-B-B-L-E. So stubble trouble. You can look them up on Facebook also. Um, their products are available through Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and they also have an Etsy store. So uh, plenty of ways to pick up that stuff and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, so if you're looking for a new soap, um, I don't think you're gonna be, you're gonna go wrong uh, with a stubble trouble. If you have any questions about them, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, you'll definitely be seeing more of these soaps in the future. So again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time with another video.